Oh, hey there, Sonny, what you messing with? Oh, hey there, Daddy. It's a retractable hose reel for the house. What are you up to? <laughs> Boy, your mama down there boiling cabbage for the church potluck. I had to get in my truck to catch my nose that was running away so fast. Oh, that cabbage does have a smell to it. She using that big pot? <laughs> Filled to the brim, I tell you. Her folks a mile downwind calling the gas company. Center Point got three trucks out there roaming the neighborhood. <laughs> Better your house than mine. <laughs> you keep it up there, Chuckles. I might move in. Oh, what's that uh, tractor reel thing do there? Oh, Daddy, it's got a water hose in it. When you're done using the holes, it rolls it back up in the box for you. It's a... It's a retractable hose reel. What's that, sonny? Uh, Daddy, it's a retractable hose reel. I got one for my air hose. Well, I guess I'm late to the tractor reel game. Where'd you come from? Well, I was over at the church. I had to put a new battery on the church bus and drove by your place, thought my catalytic converter went bad. Figured you must be hiding out over here with Jerry Wayne. Boy, y'all gonna give Mama a complex talking about her cooking like that. I'm not sure boiling cabbage counts as cooking. Well, I'll tell you what. You run over to my house and tell me if that smell wouldn't run a dog off a gut pile. Well, I thought for a minute they opened up a new paper mill over there in the woods. Y'all are just wrong. Well, hell, sonny. Wrong smells better. Usually does come to think of it. What was that thing roll the hose up for you? Exactly. And you got one, too? Yeah, for my air hose. Well, that's interesting. That is interesting. Oh, come on, Daddy. Don't hold back. Let me have it. What you have what, sonny? Oh, don't be coy, old man. Won't you tell us how... You don't know how you raised two boys too lazy to roll up a hose and all these overpriced gadgets are just nonsense to get money out of suckers. Well, son, it sounds like you got it covered to me. That thing does look as useless as a screen door on a submarine. Now, why'd you drag me into it? Did you really think he wasn't about to go in full Luddite mode? What's that, Sonny? He said you're a Luddite, Daddy. Well, the hell I am. I baptized Pentecostal. Old church I ever been inside that Lutheran church of Germany one time, but we wasn't there to pray. A church in Germany? Yeah, I was on the American Tourism Board back in the 40s. Maybe you read about it in between learning about Luddites and tractable reels. Daddy, a Luddite just means folks who don't like technology. It ain't a religion. Calm down. Well, I just don't understand wanting to roll the holes up any faster. Then you got to find another reason to stay out the house. Well, some of us ain't got that much time on our hands. We ain't all retired. Of course, brother, if you water that yard more, you're going to have to mow oh, it more. Boy, you don't like to mow that yard. That's on God. On God? Are you a rapper now? <laughs> He's iced tea. Boy, I heard them kids down at the McDonald's say it, and I kind of liked it. Not everything they say is stupid. Plus, if you say it, sometimes they laugh, you get a free hash pram. Well, it sounds like you're quite the hit with the young crowd. Oh, yeah, just ask Junior. They love my stories. Well, I often think of you as a walking fairy tale. It's definitely the grim version. Well, I think y'all are veering off into the misanthropic. Who taught you misanthropic? Oh, Keyshawn, cashier at the McDonald's. He's taking Greek literature over at the college. Haters gonna hate. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's exactly. Y'all can learn something listening to them youngins every once in a while. Who are you and what have you done with my father? <laughs> well, I can't guarantee you I'm your father, but I'm your daddy. Excuse me, do what? Gotcha. <laughs> Boy, you should have seen your face. <laughs> if he does a your mama joke next, I'm leaving. Me too. Jesus. Boy, you two are wound up too tight sometimes. We're junior. I need somebody to cut up with. Oh, he went fishing with his buddy. What well, that boy? I sure must have missed that phone call. Maybe he's too busy hiding from mama's cabin. He should have took some with him to keep them skeeters off. Are you telling me it repels mosquitoes? <laughs> oh, you want to bite something that smells like that? I bet it repels bullets. Yeah, he said he was headed out to Sabine Pass to do a little shark fishing. I told him it's a little early for that still. Them black tips don't really start hitting till about June and July. <laughs> There's a lot more to be worried about Sabine Pass and May than sharks. I hope he took a pistol. Well, I know that's right. If y'all want to hang around, I'm going to step outside and hang this thing. So what does that fancy thing run you? Why would you bring that up now? We are having such a good time. Yeah, it looked expensive. Well, why don't you tell us how much your hose reel was? I got it for free. I traded that old grill off the Buick to old Jeff over at the Chevrolet house. Well, you still ain't sold that Buick. I keep forgetting I got it. Boy, out of sight, out of mind, sonny. Well, I figured the grill was the only part on it that my kids didn't wreck. I might as well cash in now. Well, what you gonna do with the rest of it? I guess wait till it crosses my mind again. Brother, you still didn't answer the question. Well, hell, my curiosity's peaked now. Oh, I'm sure it is. Fine, I gave $165. <coughs> <coughs> 
one, one last one. <laughs> $165. Come on, get it out. <laughs> well, hell, I'm just looking for all the boats. Boats? boats? Well, good God about it, Diamond Jim. I figured if you had that kind of money to spend on magic water hose, that you might have just buy a new boat every time the old one touches water. There it is. Daddy, it ain't that much money. Boy, you call alligator a lizard. You should have made your money selling sand in those deaths. You do know what inflation is, right? Well, I know my bank account ain't inflated enough to spend $165 on a water hose. I think you're assuming it matter <laughs> if he did. Well, son, you know what they say about assuming. Well, as a matter of fact, I don't. What do they say about assuming, Daddy? Well, hell, I don't remember, but it makes an ass out of you and him. You know what? Let's just see if this thing works, and then we can continue our little education and journey. You done got him hot, Daddy. <laughs> Well, you don't want to brought it up, Harold. Let me see that thing in action. Oh, sure. Take a hold of this and go that way. <laughs> oh, is this far yeah. enough? Keep going. How far are you going to send him? Oh, as far as this hose will take him. All right. Boy, boy that thing will really stretch out. <laughs> now give it a little jerk and let it go. Oh, that's the kind of thing that gets you married. Yeah. Well, hell, that thing ain't all a bad idea. I can get far enough away from your mama. I can't hear her. Oh, you ready to get you one now? Well, I'm too rich for my blood, but Father's Day is coming up. You are unbelievable, old man. What's the last thing you got for your dad for Father's Day? Well, they didn't have that back in, but they got it now. Well, Mother's Day is coming up first. What are you doing well, for mom? Well, she ain't my mama, but I have it on good authority. She might like a retractable hose reel for a garden. <laughs> Save her some time. <laughs> now who's selling sand in Odessa? Now wait just a minute. How do you know that she ain't out there hiding from you? Yeah, come think of it. There ain't even a church potluck schedule. Is she just running you off with cabbage? <laughs> well, I didn't even think of that. I better get on the road. <laughs> now where are you going? What do you mean? I got to go buy her some more seeds of cabbage. <laughs>